This is Ultimate Soccer with Soccer Steve. Welcome to the CPL Playoff Final pre-game show. Welcome back in. Thanks for your constant viewing. Thanks for liking. Guys, please like every video. We've got to send a message to YouTube. So please, 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 as you go through, like the video, guys. I need you to. Also, share, like, subscribe, and chase down the World Cup song. We're going to Qatar. We're going to Qatar. A team has come so far. A team has come so far. We're going to Qatar. That's just my version of it, but you can hear the song downstairs. Click on it. We're going to Qatar, the World Cup song. Johnny Herdman is the man, Superman with a plan. Listen to all that sort of jazz. It's a great song. It gets in your blood. And the chorus, yeah. Maybe you've got a singing voice. Maybe you like to sing. But get into the World Cup song is what I'm saying. Pass the show around. And hey, World Cup is 23 days away, guys. It's getting close. But this is a CPL pregame show. Welcome back in. And I say again, thank you for subscribing thank you for liking it really makes a big difference on the channel and it will help us grow so guys if you like the channel do as a solid like every video like it's going out of fashion because youtube likes likes i don't care if you like it or not i care if you watch that's all i care about and i care about you subscribing that's what i care about too but the cpl final let's briefly look at the semi-finals obviously atletico taking out pacific 3-1 Pretty decent first leg was what really did the damage. And you got to hand Pacific credit. Right late in the second leg, 1-0 up. It could have gone 2-0. James Merriman, Pacific FC, the fans on the coast, everything for the aisle. I'll tell you what, be proud of you guys. Uh, the team did you good again. And uh, next season promises to be another big season. So uh, no heads down. Can't win everything. But uh, decent season, and let's not forget the CONCACAF. Now, the other semi-final, Cavalry FC going out to Forge FC 3-2. Uh, Red Wedding in the second semi-final. Wasn't really the way you wanted it to end, but I think eventually, Cavalry fans will hate me for this one, but I think eventually the best team did win through. It was fair for both sides what you want to say about the referee. It was fair for both sides what you want to say about the field conditions. Either way, perfect conditions in either game. So I think at the end of the day, Forge FC did went through. I talked to Bobby Shmoniotis after the game, and I can't show you that footage because it's lousy. It's terrible. They shot Bobby Shmoniotis from like here down, like from his from his chest down. So you couldn't see his head. So it's like talking to his chest. So I can't use that footage. I've got the audio. But what's the point of listening to the audio if you can't see the footage? Simply saying this, I talked to Bobby and I said, Bobby, you are now the team to chase you. You've taken out Cavalry. You're obviously in your fourth final in four years. Bada boom, bada bing. You're going to be the team to take out. You're the team to chase, right? Straight away. He's like all defensive. No, 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 no. Uh, Ottawa finished first. Yada, 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 yada. I guess they're the team to chase. Just to sway the pressure. Now, Ottawa may have finished first, but I'll tell you what, I don't think the pressure's on Ottawa. I think the pressure's on both teams. And as for the final, let's talk about the game itself. It's going to be something of what you would say, a bit of a chess game. Both teams in the counter-attacking cradle, defensive posture, looking for the counter-attack, and it's going to be wider counter-attacks. I would suggest in this game, just for Ottawa as an example, and uh, you got to say Oli Bassett would be the guy to use, is you need someone in the middle of the park as a pivot player. So he receives the ball, and directly, as soon as he gets that ball, there's a set play in training that's been worked on. There always is. There's always a set play. But there's a set play in training from Ottawa. And Oli Bassett is the man. Instead of hanging wide, he goes central, and he makes a certain play to release somebody on the forward line to go through in behind the defence and get that goal. Watch that. Watch that. Because... Something different's got to give in this game because they marry up pretty even. And there's really, you couldn't put a, you couldn't wedge a piece of paper in between these two teams. That's how tight it is. And that's what you want in a final sometimes. I like the underdog final. I like it when you've got the low guy taking on the big guy, you know, David and Goliath. Like in the FA Cup in the UK there, they have like little teams taking on big teams. It's beautiful. And sometimes the professionals lose to the amateurs. You know, you've seen that in the Canadian Championship as well. I say open that up to all clubs. Get as many clubs in there as you can. But anyway, staying on the final game. Big up to you guys for watching these shows as well. I appreciate everything you guys do out there, watching the shows and liking. And even when you make comments, you've got to make some more comments, guys. Even if you don't like what you've seen, make a comment. 
I don't expect you to agree, but on the final, this thing, like I say, you couldn't wedge a piece of paper in between them. And is it is it going to be a game of goals? I don't think it is. I think at max, you might see three in a 2-1 final. You're probably going to see a 1-0. There's a chance you can see a 1-1. But I don't see more than three goals. I think three goals is all you're going to get. But does it go to penalty kicks? Now, before Cavalry played Forge, I had a chance to meet up with Marco Caducci, who is the CPL Golden Glove winner of 2022. I had a chance to meet up with Marco Caducci, Cavalry FC, and we talked about what a keeper can do in preparation for a penalty shootout in the playoffs. Take a listen. Morning, Marco. How are you feeling? Good. Thank you. How are you? Not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Now, in the training this week, uh, you being the goalkeeper, the safe hands, and commend you on the season, by the way. Great season. But the point I'm going to make is, have you been practicing penalty kicks for this game? Because you're going into what would be regarded as a cup final that could lead to a cup final, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we know penalties are are, are a possibility. Um, we've had a test run earlier this year in the Canadian Championship. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we, we've certainly thought about it. The guys have been preparing for it. I can only speak on, on behalf of myself. And, um, you know, I go in there. You can't replicate a penalty shootout in a training session the way you can when there is a final on the line, for example. So, um, been thinking about it, but uh, we have 90 minutes to play first and, and hopefully we can get the job done before penalties are required. Follow up on that one. You know, the referees watching the guys on the line and the lines was on the line watching the guys coming in. What goes through your mind in that split second when the shot comes in from the shooter? I don't feel much pressure, to be honest. Um, you do your research, you, you try to pick up little habits and, and you know where have they gone in the past, what type of player they are, what, all those little details you try to grab that, that might give you slight edge or, or some kind of instinct as to where they might go. Um, but yeah, all those thoughts that I just mentioned go by in a, in a split second, right? So you take as much as you can. And, and frankly, when I'm in there again, it's just stand up as big as I can and, and you know, hopefully go the right way. Good luck on the game, mate. You've been a hero for the fans and the team all season. I love what you do on the field. Keep doing it, sir. Keep doing it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. That. So there you go. Marco Caducci tells you a few little things. You learn a little bit. They do some preparation and... You know, no pressure on the keeper is what he says. And that might surprise you. So Nathan Ingham and Tristan Henry, respective keepers, Atletico Ottawa and Forge FC, no pressure on the keepers. I wonder what they're feeling. Can't get to them right now because they're really behind closed doors and getting into uh, press situations with those guys before a final is not going to happen. So there you go, Marco Caducci. And that was literally a day ago when we were talking with him. He tells me what he's thinking. Or a day or two, sorry. A day or two ago, sorry. And he's telling me what he's thinking. I thought you'd like to hear what Marco Caducci had to say. Now, going through the game as well, there's going to be a few things. I want you to comment down below on these three issues. So let's have some fun. Really get into it now. It's the final game of the season. We've had a fantastic CPL league. I got into it halfway through. Well, six games in, I got into it big time. I was watching it before that, but after six games in, I was in, I'm sold, and now I'm a big CPL fan. But I want to know from you guys, who you think is going to win the final? Down below, guys. Comment down below, poets. Come on. We need you. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, but comment down below who you think is going to win. That's the first question. The second question is, what's the score? Call the score, guys. Call the score. I know I've said all I've said, but you might think something else. Call the score. Yeah? Even if it goes to penalty kicks, who wins on penalty kicks? There's another question for you. And final question is, who do you think is going to be your man of the match? And that's tough to say right now, obviously. But after 90 minutes, you can comment down below. So I've already got something from you guys for the post-game show for the CPL final. Or you can simply email FIFA's Cup at gmail.com f-i-f-a-s-c-u-p at gmail.com it's right there just there yeah just there fifa's cup at gmail.com hit that i want to know who your winner is what the score was and pretty much who you think is going to win and your man of the match that's what i'm thinking so sunday october it's going to be the big one the 30th i think conditions are going to be 
perfectly chilly for a lovely game in a little bit of sunshine in chilly, 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 teedy place. When it gets sunny, it's nice in there, but when the, when the sun don't come out, it can get a little chilly, and there's a little bit of wind that whistles through it, and the field is good. Conditions will be fine, and it should be a decent crowd too. And Forge fans are traveling into territory of Atletico, so it's going to be really, really interesting. I want to hear lots of noise from both sides of fans. I want to hear the drum going. But I also want to hear lots of fun and no negativos. Yeah, I don't want to see the red card. I don't want to see too many yellow cards, but I certainly don't want to see anybody ejected. And as for the two teams, you've got to say, the starting lineup for Atletico will probably look like this. And your starting lineup for Forge FC should look like this with one change. Because Becker ain't going to be there. And I know this much. I would feel absolutely gutted if I was Carl Becker that got sent off last week. One game before the final. I mean, come on. How cruel is that? And I still don't believe that he should have been sent off. I still believe he should have been kept in the game. And I still believe that referees need to work with the players to keep them in the game instead of just so quickly pulling out a red card. And if you look back on Rudolph when he sent off Becker... He didn't take too much time in deliberation before he reached for the red card. And remember, they don't have the VAR system, so I thought that was a little rush. Anyway, the final's coming. It's the last game of the season. Get on your TV sets, watch it. Post, comment down below. Share, like, subscribe. Show the channel a lot of amore, a little bit of love. And wait for the post-game show too. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to be there. And I'll be bringing you a no punches pulled post-game show. Guys, get into it. Have a lot of fun. I'll see you on the other side and thank you for all you do for the channel we really appreciate it cheers come on back for more the ultimate soccer show join me listen you'll love it everybody does